So um, we, we, we've uh, this is a first for mm-hmm. the podcast in our podcasting mm-hmm. life, uh, mm-hmm. where someone uh, has sent us boxes from abroad. I mean, this like really does speak to our international success. Well, we're a global phenom, Jared. I don't know if you understand the international sensation that is the Criterion Creeps. Yes, we get multiple emails a week, sometimes from females. But this week, we got real physical mail. That's right. Real mails. Mm-hmm. Real mailboxes. Uh, so, yeah, from friend of the show, Justin mm-hmm. Peterson, who mm-hmm. had threatened to send something or things to mm-hmm. us some time ago. And perhaps we thought maybe he had like forgotten about this and it had just been dropped and uh, it would come to nothing. But no, he came through. And uh, this this week, uh, you received packages meant for you and I. Yeah, and uh, pretty, um, pretty substantial packages Sub- at that. Substantial packages. One of them is rather large and pretty heavy. And uh, it was a good thing I was home to receive said packages because uh, that was after my dentist experience. Mm-hmm. And uh, I got these packages. And the, the delivery man who is working for a carrier that I'm unfamiliar of, so I'm afraid that that guy is going to straw dogs me any day now. Right. Uh, it was well, called he, like – He saw you lounging around in the backyard topless and uh, <laughs> he saw that as a future invitation. And An invitation. Well, he did comment on my coffee. Uh, he's like, oh, well, mm, that's how your it coffee starts. smells good. But it it actually, it wasn't <laughs> coffee. I, uh, well, I did make oh, coffee, no. but I also just put down some cinnamon uh, Eggo waffles. Um, because it's like I said, I just got home from the dentist. My mouth was all frozen up and I was like, but I got to eat something. I was like, I'll go for these Eggo waffles. So it smelled real cinnamon in there. And um, the man came into my house. <laughs> uh <laughs> No, yeah, so this dude, like, delivered the packages, and he was working for this thing. It was called, like, Just One Touch or something. It was, like, oh, what the carrier was. What? It was something like that. What? What is the uh, – what's the receipt here? Uh, it's probably upstairs. I'll find it. Yeah. I, I've never heard of said thing, and I was like, this is highly suspicious. Yeah. Uh, and it's really unsettled Andrea, too. No. Yeah. Because uh, she was afraid that um, – where we would be receiving some kind of body parts or something. So I made sure yeah. to lay down a sheet of plastic we, we underneath don't, we the don't boxes. Know, we don't know that's not the case. We don't. Yeah. No. So I laid down some plastic and uh, I've just been waiting. So she was, uh, it was pretty tough to get her not to come and open up one of these boxes in the night because she was, she's pretty concerned. She thought we were, we were going down for sure. So I don't know about you. Did you, did you resist temptation and leave the I box have, untouched? Oh, it, it is, it is absolutely sealed. I have not opened it. Um, it's right beside me here though. Uh, I guess you say that there's a number scheme. You've got it, it, one it and two and I've got three JD. So maybe we'll go in order and, uh, to paraphrase Brad Pitt, uh, what's in the box? What's in the box? Well, this is a, this might do, be do a, you know where, do you know where Andrea is? Like, she's, you, oh, is she okay? She's got the cops oh. on hold. Okay. Yeah. She does have, she's got nine one one on hold. They're like, what's your emergency? She's like, I don't know yet. But I'm pretty confident that something is coming outside out of this thing. Uh, so I the the biggest heaviest one is number one, and I think this is not only did we break records with the global success that we had in our podcast. This might be the first ever unboxing of an presented in an audio like well, format. Well, I mean, th- we this could even wind up on YouTube. I mean, I don't know. Who know? Are you recording me right now? Oh shit! Is my hair good? You look, that you look, look good you here. Look, you look beautiful. Nice. Okay, I got my pocket knife, Oof. and uh, I'm gonna. Well, are you, cause this are you thing, threatening me? Well, this thing's taped up pretty good. It's got a customs inspected <laughs> tape all over it. So I think that they opened this thing up. They must have been pretty suspicious, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, you don't know uh, what those things coming out of South, South Carolina. You well, I mean, it, it is a little suspicious. South Carolina to Creepsville, Canada. Like, you don't know. Okay, I gotta cut this thing all open. Right, all right. Can, can we get a better angle here on this video? I mean, right now, I mean, you well, could be doing anything. I don't know if I want people to see my house. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. I uh, I can show you where the boxes are. Wait, can oh, you see? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I saw okay, a little bit. Oh, man. Hold on. Now I can see what I'm doing. Oh, oh okay. All right, here okay. we go. So there's a box. Okay, okay Garrett. This is, this is dangerous. Unique. This is getting dangerous now. now okay. Oh, God. We're opening the box. Okay, Andrew's got the police on standby. 
Anthony. Oh, there's another box in here, Jared. So uh, we we've encountered a second box. Oh. Uh, are you getting this in there? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. So you can set the camera down. Set set the your laptop down, and uh, you so pull. You can... I, I see that it's uh, one thing, but there's many of them. There's many. Uh, so I think people have heard that on the show we've talked about our love of food before, specifically certain brands. Let me count these out first. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, sixteen. Sixteen. Is that this one layer or is that like all the way to the bottom? Uh, let's have a peek here. Uh, it, it appears that it's one layer all the way down. I don't think there's anything underneath. Okay. I'll have to search, but... Uh, it is 16 family size boxes of uh, Kellogg's Raisin Bran Crunch, oh. which uh, if fans of the show, <laughs> uh, friends even, would hear, uh, I think I was outraged a while ago. We cannot get this cereal in Canada, and it's part of a well-balanced breakfast, Jared. And fittingly enough, I don't know if you can see this. Do you see the endorsement for this Raisin Bran Crunch, Jared? I, I can't quite. I see the family size. Uh, Okay, because it actually pairs up with one of our creeps. Oh, this, uh, oh, I see. This, oh, I see it one now. Of my oh, yeah. Creeps. yeah. It's endorsed. So it is a uh, Spider Man Far From Home variety of Kellogg's. Uh, and I don't think I can stress enough how heavy this box actually is. <laughs> this is 16 boxes of family size Raisin Bran Crunch. Uh, and you I mean, know, there, I've there, never there, been could, there could be something, too, about like the, the state of your. Uh, uh, bathroom life and the plunging situation, and perhaps he's sending a message mm-hmm. about bran and the value of fiber in one's diet. Well, I mean, that's what I've been saying. That's what I've been saying for weeks. Is that, or for years, is that we can't acquire this cereal in in our home country. So maybe my bran intake is subpar. <laughs> uh, this thing's pretty heavy. Should I pull it out just to? Make sure there's nothing underneath. Well, I'm, it's a cereal box, I guess. It's those are pretty tall. Because there's a box inside a box. I, I'm, I'm uh, yeah. I'm, I'm. I'll com- check at the break. I, I don't yeah. think there's anything. Okay. There. Okay. Sounds good. Should I open second box? Yes. I, I do want to state too that uh, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, I don't think people understand what kind of cereal I I put down. Like you know how sometimes people have fruit bowls that they just like store fruit in. Like those huge, huge bowls you'll put in like a bunch of bananas and like a whole pack of apples. Yeah, okay. That's what I eat cereal out of. I, I see, okay. You see what I mean? Yeah. Okay, I'm opening this next box, Jared. Okay. This one's way smaller. My cat's in here too. She's oh, yeah. a little bit uh, suspicious. But all these noises, the sound of cardboard being torn up. Oh my God. <laughs> it's, the oh, there's so much fluid coming out of this thing, Jared. <laughs> Oh, have you ever seen, uh, what was that movie with all the sperm? The Incubus? <laughs> yeah, I know all oh, about it. Oh my God, the sperm. <laughs> an incredible amount. Okay, wait, here's a, an envelope for with a, it appears to be a gift receipt. That's pretty thoughtful. Okay. And then, oh, Jarrett, look at this. Is that, is that like a stocking sack? Uh, okay. it, it, it looks like it. Oh, look, a gift for you. Wow. How nice. What a thoughtful, what a thoughtful gift. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, oh, okay, I see. It, it's even, it's personalized with a message, Jerry. Oh, shit. It says, hi, RJ. <laughs> After hearing that you use fashion earbuds for the show, uh, I must, oh, I think some of it's cut off here. Oh, no. Uh-oh. It's a little cut off, Jerry. Uh oh. Oh, okay. That you use old fashioned earbuds for the show. I must say that I, I simply cannot support this and I strongly encourage you upgrade to this comfy set of oh. over the ear Bluetooth <laughs> headphones that I highly recommend. Wow. Well that's pretty neat. Okay, I'm this thing's got a lot of ties in it, this little packet. This this, this little this little ribbon? This little ribbon, I think, I, I don't know, this could have been packaged by Amazon, perhaps? Okay, there we go. Oh, here's a, what was it, some tissue paper. Mm-hmm. It is uh, foldable Bluetooth headphones, and their brand is Empow. As I crinkle paper in the, uh, the right mic. Into, into our ears. I, so, 
Noise cancellation, hi-fi audio, hands-free calling, battery display, range, 33 feet, talk time, 15 to 20 hours, music playtime, 15 to 20 hours, charge time, 4 hours, charging voltage, 5 volt, 1 amp, battery capacity, 3.7 volts, Jer. Wow. Well, these are very kind and considerate gifts, and I would like to express nothing but my actual sincere gratitude to a uh, friend of the show justin peterson uh i'm i'm happy there's both of these because i can say that the headphones will last a long time but this cereal will likely be gone within i don't know a couple hours yeah you're just gonna start munching down here live on the air just rip right into this bad boy oh. so uh, well it's good that someone's got like your your physical well-being and the uh, the well-being of your ability to hear covered <laughs> Well, I mean, the podcast, as you've said many times, is has never been a professional podcast due to my uh, my performance. But I also say I don't think professional and free podcast work in the same sentence. So, so are, are you going to open that bad boy? I am going to do it right now. Oh, he's using a – is that what, – what are you using? Oh, a pair of unfolded scissors yeah. is his, uh, his brand pref- of my, choice. My preferred method. Preferred method. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Um, got here a cardboard box. It's very flappy. Uh, oh, okay. This is a flat box. A flat boy. Flat boy with uh, mm. with more uh, sealant. Is there any fluids coming out of that? Uh, no solids. Solids, solids. are coming out. Oh, okay. Oh, what is you? This? You always want solids. What are you? Oh. His, his face has gone pale. <laughs> pale. What do you got over there, big dog? Oh, this is uh, pretty sweet, actually. Is it also cereal? Oh, RJ. Oh, is it RJ. also cereal? I don't know if you can uh, see this. Oh, baby. I can see that. Oh, yeah. That's that's some pretty serious gear over there. Maybe we shouldn't tell anyone. This is the... Oh, okay. uh, this is the... Uh, I will say... The when was this re released? So this is the Surf Nazis Must Die on LP vinyl record, which Ooh, is the uh, baby. much celebrated, much uh, dallyed highlight of the entire film. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the that's the music that put me into a uh, tranquil, hypnotic kind of lull, Jarrett. And I believe you and me both had just nothing but relaxation stream oh, over yeah. us. Oh yeah! Look, look at that. This look, looks like a high quality product. It does, and look, it's our uh, protagonist <gasps> on the back. Fuck, she's she's a she's a hip hip lady. Uh, this is a uh, uh, very exciting, actually, pretty awesome. Very exciting. Uh, very exciting. So yeah, <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't see a note. Maybe I've missed it, but uh, this is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. <laughs> It's uh, it's very it's very awesome. I think uh, my excitement was maybe uh, withheld when I was opening it because of out of sheer terror. But uh, I think I think the uh, sixteen boxes of Raisin Bran Crunch is a, a pretty high level gift and joke. Uh, I would always joke with my friends. They'd be like, "What do you want from the store?" I'd be like, "I don't know, like eighteen cheeseburgers." Yeah. Uh, and one day they actually did it, and it was hilarious. And I find like this is very much in the same vein, in the same heart. 16 boxes of Raisin Bran Crunch. Wow. So you got you got some Surf Nazis Must Die, huh? I Yeah, I mean, I, I love those guys. Which ones? The Surf Nazis. Oh. <laughs> even, though, even though they must die. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, they got such sweet beats. Were you going to rip into that bad boy later tonight? Oh, yeah. While you're editing, maybe? Uh, Probably after, right after that. Perhaps. And then probably by the time that uh, Justin is listening to this episode, where we thank him. Mm-hmm greatly and deeply mm-hmm. from our hearts uh for these great gifts these very mm-hmm. thought, thoughtful gifts mm-hmm. um yeah he'll be listening i'll be listening to that and he'll be listening just listening to the podcast it's it's an alignment of global success both on his end and on ours yeah. if you understand what i mean absolutely but yeah it's, like i said earlier actual sincere uh, gratitude thank <laughs> not, you thank none, you very none much of that, none of that fake shit uh, I'm usually well. It's like I said, nothing is real, so I, yeah. I'm usually not real. But uh, no, this is uh, this is pretty terrific. So thank you very much, uh, Justin Peterson, absolutely friend of the show, friend of the show, friend of the show. You want to read those emails now? 
I mean, I guess. Is there any follow-ups or anything like that interesting well, that we should hear about? Well, uh, there is. Do you want to? Should I, you know what? I'll read. Uh, I'll read Justin's. First, well, there you go. I think that's fitting. Where he writes, because he wanted us, I guess, to open first and then read. Okay. Okay. So Justin Peterson writes, Unboxing Spectacular. <gasps> hey, guys, what's happening? If you do not, uh, if you have not done so already, please unbox your three special delivery packages. Dramatic Ooh. pause. I hope you all like your late Christmas gifts that I sent <laughs> all the way up to Creepswell. It took mm-hmm. a lot. Uh, it took a lot of close listening to the show over the past few years to finally hear you both ask for something, and hopefully JD did not already mm-hmm. splurge and get that kick-ass looking gift. And I had not. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, convenient. So very good. I, I'm, mm-hmm. I am a notoriously difficult person to shop for. So yeah, very that is true. one of those things that I guess that, that's what I'll do. I'll just start like mentioning things on the podcast, <laughs> just not let let you all figure it out for me. Mm-hmm. That's that's all I want. <laughs> And now RJ should have the yeah. perfect breakfast for the next few months. Now, see, months, RJ, months. It's. I, I'm sorry to inform you. As, as kind and considerate as the gift is, it might not last that long. But I will enjoy every spoon. Is the point? Does, will you I'm share? Will well, you be sharing with Andrea? I usually don't. You could bust That's a. It. You could bust open a box right now and just have a big, a big handful and chew it live on big the air. Handful? Yeah. Do you, do you want me to? Yeah, why not? Why I mean, not? it's pretty crunchy. <laughs> it's pretty pr- crunchy. Pr- maybe not. Oh, RJ should have a gift note in the small box explaining why I picked that gift. And if he doesn't want to mm-hmm. switch to Bluetooth, there is a cord attachment in the box. Ooh, even better. Both options. Your nice. show has become one of the highlights of my week, and I just wanted to say thanks. Nice. So, mm-hmm. thank you, Justin. Yes, one thanks, more, Justin. One more time.